<laughs> Thanks for being here on a Sunday morning. Uh, this is actually my Thursday night live uh, for Cricket for Australians Facebook group. And normally, um, if you're part of the group, um, if you're not part of the group, join. But if you uh, are familiar with the group, you know they had some technical problems on Thursday night. Um, so I had to move my Sunday, uh, my Thursday night live to Sunday. Um, so thanks for being here. If you don't know who I am, my name's Paul um, from Scissors Paper Paul on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And I am here to share my knowledge and expertise on all things cricket. Uh, so that you can master these incredible machines and products and ultimately we want you to make beautiful things. Uh, if you are new to my channel, type new in the comments because I want to meet you. If you have a question, put Q in front or type it all in caps and that'll just make it a little bit easier for me to find it. But today, today is all about Christmas. We're going to go a bit Christmas mad for the remainder of November. Um, and we're going to do Christmas cards. So are you getting organized for Christmas? Um, are you doing baubles, Christmas cards? What have you been making? Um, let me know in the comments. it will be great. So I'll just check out some comments before we get started. Uh, yes, being let loose on the shop. So now we're allowed to go out in Melbourne, which is awesome. I actually did a bit of shopping yesterday, which was cool. Hey, Nicole, thanks for being here. Hopefully you enjoy today and get something out of it. Awesome. Uh, Michelle is part of CFA First Live Project with you. Awesome. Now, I have shared these files already in my on my Facebook page. Again, Scissors Paper Paul. If you, I share them early so you can potentially cut them out and we can make them together. Uh, so if you have cut everything out, we can make things together today. And let me go to the overhead camera. Hey Bernie, thanks for joining. Um, so what we use today, of course we've used a lot of card stock and we'll, we'll open the cards and we'll make them one by one. There are three projects today. Um, but some of the tools that I did use, I did use um, the uh, quick swap perforation tip for the uh, um, Cricut Maker. So there is one card project um, which I'll, I'll call out when we, we go through that one, but that is a maker only project. Otherwise, all of these can be done, um, all the other two cards can certainly be done on the Explore uh, or on your Cricut Maker. No worries there. Um, I've also done a bit of foiling, <laughs> quite a lot of foiling, um, which is probably no surprise to you, but I thought it's, you know, the foil lends itself to Christmas just beautifully. And um, also, I just really wanted to show it being used in different ways. If you don't have the foil tool um, or foil, you can certainly change those elements in these projects for pen, if you want to use pen. And I did use a little bit of pen detail as well. Uh, of course, with the foil tool, I've got um, some of the transfer sheets here. I use the jewel sampler mostly, but I also use some gold as well. And the gold comes standard with the tool. You get that free. Um, this is the tape runner that I use. Uh, Kokuyo, it's from Officeworks, really, really cheap. And uh, if you haven't heard me say it a million times, um, it has these tiny little dots of glue. And what's great about that is that if you make a mistake, so if you put some glue down and it's in the wrong spot, you can literally just give it a wee rub and it will completely come off the cardstock or whatever you are gluing down. So really, really good uh, glue this one and really affordable. You get little refills from um, Officeworks as well. Uh, the glue that I use is Scotch Tacky Glue. Um, so this, it's, you can't get, it's not readily available in stores, um, but Craft Online and some of the other craft shops I know do sell it. So, so that's uh, good. What I do is I put it into a tiny little uh, fine tip applicator bottle. You can get these from Lincraft, uh, Amazon as well. Again, fine tip uh, applicator or glue bottle where you'll find them online. Um, they're really cheap and it just means I can get a really fine detail when I'm gluing my bits and pieces together. Also, as always, you know I love to mention, we've got some foam squares and these are paper crafts from Spotlight. Super cheap again. I just buy them when they're on sale. Um, I always get half inch and quarter inch, always got them in my stash. So just check the comments. 
and then we'll get started on the first project. So Kay, you haven't done foiling. So we're not actually gonna be doing any projects today. Um, if you want to know how to do foiling, and you you know, and I, and I do recommend you do this if you've not done it before, I've got a great video uh, in my um, list of videos, which is um, all about the um, foil tip and how to do the transfer, all of that are uh, really, really detailed. The couple of tips that I'll give you is certainly make sure that your uh, a foil is really taut um, because you'll get a really good transfer and, a, and less risk of tearing. And also what I do, if I'm doing bold or uh, medium tip, then I always do less pressure as well because then I find again it's just less likely to tear. Um, Joanne, you're asking about this uh, fine tip applicator. Um, so again, fine tip applicator bottle, I think. <laughs> if, you, if you Google that, you will find those very, very easily. Okay, so let's have a look at our first card. Now, all of the cards have envelopes um, with them. I've called these cards with a twist because, you know, they're not just your standard, you know, fold and half cards. Um, they've got a bit of dimension to them or a bit of a surprise element. These, this design, the first design and the second design have been modeled after, um, oh, sorry, been based on Jennifer Maguire's cards. Now, um, so they're definitely not original designs. Um, I've obviously modified them. I've cricketified them really. Um, but if you're not following her and you're a card maker, Jennifer Maguire on YouTube, she's amazing. She's amazing. So this is the first card. Obviously we've got a little bit of Australiana there with our um, kangaroos pulling the sleigh. Obviously Starry Night. I've foiled the Merry Christmas there. And then it just pops out. It just stands up. So obviously it's hard to see, but you've got this little um, house scene. Um, I did contemplate putting a little um, snowflake or something there, um, but that is our first card and of course it folds flat and then you can just pop it into your envelope um, for mailing. Okay, so let's put this one together. We'll leave that up there and get all of our components. So the first piece is our envelope. Now I've got my bone folder. Again, really, really useful if you make a lot of cards. Um, I'm just going to fold these lines crudely with my hands and then I'm just going to go over it with the bone folder and the bone folder just gives you a really crisp edge so no nice and neat very sharp um, gives you again that really professional look as well um, so just go over this one so nothing too surprising when it comes to folding and gluing the envelope closed um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down here on the edge. I'm going to pop this side down. And then glue in the middle. And pop this side down. Okay. Easy, right? There's our envelope. You can, of course, you can do it in any colour. I just sort of went a little bit less Christmas classic with some blues and some teals and greens this year. Um, and here are all of our other little bits and bobs. So just move some of these out of the way for now. Leave our little kangaroos there. Um, so here, of course, this is, um, I've just basically sliced all these little stars in there so that when you glue it on, or glue this piece on the back, um, it obviously reflects through and then you get your little starry uh, scene. And also what you can do, what's great about this, is you can glue that on and then you can write your sentiment on the back of the card. So let's glue this on. A little bit smaller than the blue piece. So just center that in the middle. And then again, there it is there. And then we'll glue on our elements for our scene with our center. Now, um, this tool is super cool as well. It's a silhouette tool uh, called Pick Me Up. It has like blue tack on the end and it's really good for picking up fine pieces. So everyone always goes a bit mental when I show that on camera. So I just wanna make sure you're getting to see what that is. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a wee dab of glue. As you can see, I like just doing really fine dots of glue. And I'm gonna just pop that on there. Um, the great thing about the Scotch Tacky as well Scotch tacky glue is that it dries clear. So if you get a little bit seeping out, not a problemo. And then I'll pick up this piece, some glue. And 
there. That is center. And he is detached from the kangaroos. So if it, you cut this, I cut it in foil because I thought it worked really nicely. Um, obviously it's up to you, but don't be alarmed when you realize that it is actually detached. So again, just a little bit of glue. I don't go crazy with my glue and so far so good. Nothing falls apart on me or anything like that. And glue him down. Thanks everyone who's joining and saying good morning. Um, and then I'll just get these other little elements and these are what's gonna pop up on the side um, to give it that dimension. So again, just giving it a crude fold and then I will go over it with the bone folder as well. And we'll do two sides so that they're ready to go. And what's everyone making for Christmas? Have you started making your cards? I actually feel organized this year because normally I lay, leave it to the last minute um, and I'm scrambling. So here we've got our Merry Christmas sentiment that's been done in the foil. Again, you could swap this out for pen. It gives it a really nice debossed effect as well, almost like a stamped, a letter stamp effect, which I really, really like. And we're just gonna glue this right on the front. Now, you could pop this up with uh, foam dots if you wanted to, or foam squares, um, but I'm just going to glue this straight on here, around the right way, not the wrong way. And, there we go. Right, so super, super simple. And then we're just going to attach it to our card and we're done with the first one already. Let's pop a wee bit of, a wee dot of glue in here. Get that stick down. Okay. All right, so now we're going to attach a little, um, uh, little sort of poppy uppy things, hinges, whatever you want to call them. So just a bit of glue and then just lining it up with the edge, right across the edge and flash it across the bottom and we'll stick that down. Okay, and we'll do the same on the other side. So a bit of glue and you could use liquid glue for this as well. But this one's not too fiddly. So again, matching up the edge. All right, so now we want to glue our house scene with sentiment um, on the front of these hinges. I'm going to glue. So I'm just going to do that first one and getting it nice and straight along the bottom. Try. Now, a little trick for you when you're doing anything with dimension, because we want this ultimately to fold flat this way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it before I glue it, just as if it was going to be in the envelope, folded nice and flat, yeah? And then what I can do is while this piece is extended, just like it would be in the card, uh, in the envelope rather, I'll apply the glue and then pop this piece over, pressing it down, and then now I know that's going to sit perfectly flat in my envelope and we are done. So there we go. There's our first card, nice bit of dimension. It's going to fold flat and a bag, a piece on the back for um, writing our sentiment. So there we go. Merry Christmas. Card number one done. Let's again just have a quick look at some comments. Kay, you're making some bags and pot holders for Christmas. Awesome. Um, Ricky, you liking that one? Excellent. I think it's nice and simple. Um, okay. Oh, pup photo shot shoot yesterday, getting ready for the snow globes together. Oh yes. So you've got some amazing cards. They're looking so good. Um, did I score the envelope and blue sides? Yes, I did score the envelope. Um, that's in the file. There'd be score lines in the file. Um, did I use foil paper for Santa and kangaroo? So this is a foil poster board. Um, so it's uh, quite thick cardstock, but yes, it's gold, gold foil that I used. And uh, Megan's asking where to get the pick me up tool. Um, I got mine from Craft Online. 
Um, but if you Google it, you might find some other supplies. Oh, someone's got the Joy, um, which is exciting. Awesome. All right, so let's get on to card number two. This one I thought was really, really fun. So first I'll show you the envelope. So the envelope has got a liner, um, and I just cut out a little Christmas tree detail. And again, this isn't kind of like, a, it looks weird on camera, but it's a corally color um, with the mint. Um, now what I did was, I love this gift tag. I don't know if you're familiar with this gift tag. And you can see there I've actually foiled on the deer as well, um, which is really, really cool. But again, you can swap that out for pen. Um, inside I've got again foiled Merry Christmas and look I've got here it says from because what I've done I thought how great is this here's Merry Christmas cute little card merry and bright super cute but it says here pull here and I thought you give this to someone and then next year they can reuse the card to make a little gift tag and it's got the from sentiment they can just tear off this little piece here but I just thought that was a really fun way of reusing the card and giving it another function I suppose that would be a little bit of a surprise element so we're going to put this card together next which is and I love that tag I made that tag last year um, for my Christmas gifts I did just love it super cute so here's our envelope um, so again, just folding it crudely with my fingers and then using my bone folder to get it nice and sharp, fold. And then likewise with the flaps. So fold, fold, fold. Oops. Yep. Okay, let's store those. the flap as well, a bit of glue in there from my mat, clean that off in a moment, so I'll just fold that top flap down. Um, now with this, with the with envelopes, I normally, these are made out of cardstock, uh, all the cardstock primarily, or most of it is from uh, Spotlight, it's AC cardstock, that's the one I primarily use. Um, I don't normally use cardstock, thick cardstock for envelopes. Um, but I just wanted to do it for demonstration purposes today. I would probably use like a paper pad, like a, th not, not paper paper, but like a thick paper, like scrapbooking paper that you get in the paper pads and so forth. Um, so I'm just going to line this up and then put some glue here. I'm just going to do the top piece first and then I'll glue down that piece, make sure it's folding. To make sure it opens and closes and then we'll glue down our other flaps again all of this is in the file that I've shared on my Facebook page so there we go a cute little envelope and then we're just going to assemble the card so the card is really really easy this one um, really simple stuff obviously give this a fold Okay, again, getting our bone folder, give it a nice crease. Let's glue on my mat. Now, one thing to note is that when I, you can see on my one, when I first attach this, uh, this perforation piece, um, the circle, I forgot to change that to cut. So the file that I've shared in Facebook, this is actually just a, a nice clean cut line, not a bit of a mess like mine. And I'm gonna, you could pop this up as well if you wanted some dimension. I'm just gonna glue this one straight down. This time I am using liquid glue um, because I just wanna get it in these little fine bits here to make sure it glues down properly. And then just some dots here and there. So again, just getting these bits to make sure that they stick down. All right. And then just match it up. It is a little bit smaller than the white piece. Um, again, another good thing about liquid glue is you can maneuver it around so it sticks. Let's pop that down. Okay. What I'm also going to do now is just insert my little um, tag or tab. 
Now there is a little cut line here that you can just slide it into and then you can just flip it over and just put a little dab of glue. Don't put too much glue because you want this to be able to be removed quite easily when the person re-gifts. Glue that down. There's our little tab. And with our little reindeer, so again, hopefully you can see he's foiled. I've got the emerald foil on him. It's hard to see. The foil, I'm just loving. Who's got the foil tool? You're loving it? Um, I love it so much, but um, it is really hard to photograph. You just cannot. Like, it's absolutely gl glittering and glowing for me here, but you just can't show it on camera. It's just really frustrating because it's just so beautiful. Um, and then we're going to stick our little... So I've put a foam square on him. So he's going to be popped up. And then I've got our little arrow telling the recipient to pull here. I'm going to glue that on here. So just a bit of glue. Boom, boom. Tiny bit of glue. And there is our card number two. Again, inside, got the from and also the Merry Christmas sentiment. So hopefully you like that one. So that file again is in my Facebook group. Just have a look at the comments. Um, Chris is loving the number one. The number one card is gorgeous, the first card. Awesome. Yes, Joy, the pick, up, pick me up is such a great tool. Every time I show it on camera, people go mental for it. Um, when he's asking, there are so many bone folders available, do you have a preference? This is not an expensive one. I think I threw it, I found it really difficult to get them at Spotlight, which you would think that would actually be really easy um, at Spotlight, but I found it really difficult. So I think I just threw this into an order once with Craft Online, but it, it, it is not an expensive one. And I just, I mean, it, it works fine. I don't have any issues with it. Um, it's just cheap, cheap, cheap. Yes, so there are links to all my Facebook and my socials in the description oh right okay so Ricky is loving the perforation yeah great way to reuse cards right I think you know particularly everyone's so um, conscious at the moment of you know their carbon footprint and things like that uh, Carol wants to know are you new to my life welcome uh, the SVGs for the cards available in design space yes so basically if you go to the link uh, in the description on YouTube um, to my Facebook page, you will find all of these cards uh, and links to the projects. Just be mindful that um, because there are foil elements, you won't be able to open them on your phone. You'll have to open them on a desktop computer. Now, once you've opened on a desktop computer, again, you, could, you can swap out the foil elements for pen uh, if you wish. And then, of course, you could then open them up on uh, your phone. All right, so lucky last. All right, so again, another envelope now. When I first did this, um, when I shared this file originally, I hadn't put any of these together. So I was kind of hoping that they, you know, would come together as I envisaged. <laughs> um, this envelope was a tad small, so I made it a little bit bigger in the file now. Um, but this one's really cool. Again, this is based on Jennifer Maguire's design, not my design. I just cricketified it. And I'm just going to pull out this card. So it's a bit tight in this envelope, but yours won't be. Um, so here he comes. All right, so sending Christmas cheer. Again, this is in foil on the back. It says, wishing you a Merry Christmas. Again, this is in the foil, but you can do it in pen or you can take it out completely. It's completely up to you. Um, but look at this. It's like a little window box. Um, okay. And then you've got that dimension, that three-dimensional element, with the starry or snowy scene in the background with our little print and cut snowmen. So there we go. And obviously it folds flat to go into the card. And of course, it will stand on its own just like that. All right, so let's make this card. Just having a quick check of the comments. Thank you, everyone. That's um, letting one know. Um, about my links. Um, Monica's got the foil transfer kit, haven't used it. Um, so again, there's a really great video. Um, if you look at my videos, there's a really great one that goes into a lot of detail around the uh, foil transfer tool. Um, Chris is here loving the second one as well. Thank you. Lots of love for the cards. Awesome. 
and Sharon, you're loving this one. That is very sweet, I think. And again, you could swap these out. So I've used um, snowmen. Um, you could, I mean, you can do whatever you want. It doesn't even have to be for Christmas. You can make this for any occasion and you could just do a different little print thing cut. Or if you could be bothered, and I just absolutely couldn't, you could, you know, find layered images and you could actually layer this out of cardstock or paper or something like that. But I just went the fast route, <laughs> the easy route, I should say. And I went with... Um, the uh, print and cut image is just, just easier. All right, so um, let me just fold this again. So super, super boring, but I'll just do this really, really quickly. So again, the envelope is in the file. Um, you need the link to find the design as well because I haven't shared it publicly. I've only shared it um, for anyone that has the link. So you can't search these in design space. Just want to make that a little bit exclusive for my peeps on Facebook um, and YouTube, of course. So again, just like the other envelope, just a bit of glue down the bottom. I'm going to shut that side, glue down the middle. And then close it up. Simple stuff. Yeah, so there's that envelope. Cool. And these are all our little elements. So. I'm just going to put my little snowmen over here to the side. Didn't they cut beautifully? Look at the detail. Let me just get this. Oh, how teeny tiny he is. Look at his little hands. Look at his little arms. Just cut really, really beautiful. So I made this on my Maker, but you can do that on the Explore machine as well. Okay, so we've got a few elements here. Um, so it's definitely worthwhile. Um, if you haven't put this one together yet, um, there's a couple of things, or you haven't cut it out yet, there's a couple of tips that I'll give you. Um, this one here is, um, normally, I always cut my cardstock textured side down. That's just what I do. I find it cuts better. Um, sometimes you haven't got a choice. You might need to cut it textured side up, but for me, I always go textured side down. But I'm also really, really big on texture. So what you can see on this, hopefully this card, is this is smooth because of course you're foiling and you don't want to foil on textured cardstock but for the my little snowy mountains uh, in the window I wanted the texture so what I did was and hopefully this makes sense was for this part of the design I mirrored it okay in design space um, I did that when I went to cut it so don't worry um, the file in design space is you know is perfectly normal but if you are like me and you want that textured on the front for this piece just mirror it in design space so that it cuts back to front and then you can flip it over and you're going to get the texture of the snowy kind of hills for you okay hopefully that made sense <laughs> all right so what we're going to do is going to score these uh, the window and the back panel um, so there's some score lines two on each side for both pieces and effectively they are what's going to join together to give us these little kind of handle pieces here on the side. Okay, um, so again, we're going to fold them. Now, which way am I going? So this one is actually going to go folding this way. Again, it doesn't really matter how you do this. You just, it's personal preference. Um, but I, again, I try to get that feature, that texture where I can. Yeah, um, but ultimately you're folding one one way and the other one the other way. So if you can't make a mistake here, you'll know when you go to glue it together um, if it's wrong. Um, again, trusty bone folder, just to give me some nice crisp score lines. And we'll do the same for the window piece. Over and so it might seem that there are a few layers on this one, but the reason is it is purposeful. Um, I just wanted to give this because this cardstock, it's AC cardstock, it's around eighty pounds or two hundred and sixteen GSM. It's a bit flimsy, um, and I just wanted to make sure that it had a bit of structure to it so that it would stand and all that sort of thing. So that's why there's kind of a few pieces that may seem a little bit redundant, um, but it all comes together in the wash. Now, see, you can see I've done that the wrong way. So I'm just going to fold them back the other way. Um, 
What's everyone doing for the rest of your day? It's a beautiful day in Melbourne today. Sun is shining. It's going to be nice and warm. All right, so let's get our back panel. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have this, again, that textured sort of facing into the window. So on my back panel, I'm going to glue on my sentiment. So wishing you a Merry Christmas. So this is where you could write your message as well to the recipient. Uh, and just... Again, this is white on white. You can do whatever color works for you. And again, that's just giving that now a bit more stru structure. Yeah, that's why I did that. And then we've got our starry, starry night. And I'm going to glue that on here as well. I'm going to try and get out in some sunshine, I think. I do have some crafting to do though. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to glue on my front panel here. And again, with this one, um, this actually fits this whole section here exactly. Um, and likewise with these little square cutouts, the windows, they will match perfectly. So kind of just trying to line those when you're gluing it um, together. So glue, glue. So just matching all of that up. Oh. Oh. that down, and that's our front window. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to glue these together and then I'm going to put my um, snowmen on so that I'm not potentially, you know, disrupting them too much when I, um, uh, by doing that first and then gluing it to this back piece. Um, so super simple, of course, we're just going to, this one tab at the back. So again, so we're going to glue these two end pieces together. So this piece with that piece. So glue make sure you get this nice and aligned because you want this of course to fold and close nicely okay and just like we did before because we ultimately well this is obviously going to fold in but we want it to be able to ultimately fold flat as well we can just lay it press it down all the way flat and then fold this tab back put glue on the back tab and then stick that other tab on top of it and then we know that's going to be lovely and aligned and then there's our little window yep and then ultimately we'll fold those in so that it can go inside the envelope yeah easy easy peasy right um so with my snowmen i'm just going to replicate what i did here but you put your snowmen wherever you want to <laughs> it is completely up to you i'm just using a tiny little bit of glue and I'll grab my pick me up tool. How cool is this? It's super handy, isn't it? Uh, and then I'm just going to glue him on there. And I'm just gluing him on the snowy mountain. Move him over a bit. This guy's my favorite, I think, the little reindeer one. He don't need much glue. I think someone may have asked me if this is printed on. I will go and have a look at the comments before I finish. Um, but I think someone asked me the type of cardstock that I print on. This is, I think I got it at Spotlight. It's just a, a pad um, of, it's actually uh, American um, letter size, um, which is good um, because of course that's what Cricut wants to use for print thing cut. So I don't get as, that much wastage. Um, and it's, it's not very thick. It, it's definitely thicker than paper. It's like a, it's like a light card. It's like it's not it's not as thick as the AC cardstock, but it's it's pretty pretty thick. Um, it's definitely not paper. It's thick thicker paper. Sometimes I use um, a photo paper as well. Um, that can be really good. That really can be really thick as well. So, um, but that I do have photo paper, which I sometimes use. Um, but yeah, this this paper pad is my go to. Okie doke, last, lucky last, Mr. Snowman. Pop you in the middle, your little present. 
And there we go. I hope that you like those. I hope that you make them. If you do make them, please post them and share them on socials. You know, share them on my Facebook page. Share them in Cricket for Australians. Share them on Instagram, whatever. Tag me. Again, Scissors Paper Paul. And there we are. We're all ready to go inside the envelope. So, yeah. Hopefully you like those. Hopefully you give the foiling a try. Again, this is where I had the pen detail I mentioned. I had a, I did use a pen. So this has a little stitch line, which is just pen um, on the top and on the bottom as well. So let me just check out some of the comments and make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, uh, yes, find the links, Chris, on my page. Um, they only put them up there on Wednesday. I think so we, we, he's super easy to find yes thank you Bernie I do use scotch tacky glue um, it, you may see it it might be in a red bottle this is a new packaging and I get it from craft online um, if you find it in a local store in Melbourne let me know um, let's go back to the I'll stick this guy up here so while I'm looking at your comments um, so this is it's literally called pick me up <laughs> Uh, pick me up and it's by silhouette so if you again craft online but if you google silhouette pick me up tool um, hopefully you'll find that and nothing else <laughs> and so sky hopefully you heard me say the name of the scotch tacky glue um, bernie planning today on when i can finally see my kids now that the ring of steel yes it's being lifted so midnight tonight we're allowed to go anywhere we want in victoria which is amazing 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 um awesome i think i've got all the comments sharon's loving the cards she's gonna make them um can't wait oh you're doing your christmas decorations i love it i love christmas i love it um suzette i you can foil on textured cardstock um but i would not recommend it if you want to get the best transfer you want to um, do it on the smooth side okay uh, and again, I mentioned if you if, if I'm doing anything other than fine, so medium or bold tip, I will always um, do less pressure, and that way you're not going to risk any tearing. Um, and you really want to get that um, nice and taut. And if you watch my video, because um, one thing that happens just quickly before I finish with your foil, when you're putting your tape um, down to glue it or stick it down, um, you the the foil is actually is actually attracted to the tape. So the foil will actually lift off and come to the tape. So if you kind of go too fast, what you end up doing is it, it just bunches up and looks a hot mess. What you need to do is you lower your tape really, really slowly until that foil lifts up to the tape and then you continue and you transfer it onto the cardstock and stick it down. The other thing, I'll, I'll actually just change again to my overhead. Um, the other thing I would mention is when you are sticking it down on cardstock, um, because you don't want it to tear when you lift it, what I do is I will put it down and then I will literally just go press, 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 press on the tape. Don't rub it down. Don't rub it with your finger and stick, stick, stick it to the cardstock because when you pull it off, it's going to tear. The other thing that I do is when you're removing the tape, just like when you're bringing off transfer tape on vinyl, or this is what I do, I basically fold it back on itself. Don't kind of lift, don't pull it up. Um, just fold it completely back on itself and just peel it back nice and slow and um, you'll you'll be good awesome um, if you like this video make sure that you subscribe to my channel and give me a uh, thumbs up as well um, because I think I called it logarithms uh, last week but algorithms uh, YouTube really like that sort of stuff so <laughs> appreciate it Awesome, I think I've got all of your questions. Um, if you think of anything else, pop it in the comments. I will get back to you um, pretty quick. Again, if you've got any other questions as well, you can pop it on my Facebook group. I'm even faster, uh, not my Facebook group, my Facebook page, I'm even faster in there. If I haven't answered any of your questions, um, lots of love for that. So really, really appreciate it. Um, thanks, Sharon. Hope you got something out of it. Happy Sunday. Have a wonderful end of week. I uh, have a fabulous week next week. Now. Thursday night, normally we go live for these tutorials, Thursday night, Australian Eastern Stand Daylight Savings Time at 7 p.m. Uh, next week is the Craftathon. So the Cricket for Australia's Craftathon is on next Saturday. So we won't be having a live next week. 
uh, Thursday Night Live, but um, Natalie will be live the following Thursday, and she's going to be doing um, other baubles. So you've seen her glitter the baubles, you've seen her put names and letters and all of that stuff on baubles. These are going to be something different with baubles. So definitely watch for that one. We've got lots of fun Christmas projects coming up. Um, awesome. Have a great day, guys. I will see you soon. Bye. If I can finish this, <laughs> see ya. <laughs>